Hey guys, welcome back to another Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 leak video. Dude, every single day we have more leaks. They just don't stop. So here we go. We have more of them still coming from Warzone Mobile. It's like every day more stuff gets data mined through it and more stuff gets leaked. So here we go. More tweets here from uh, Realty UK. He says, Still looking at strings, amount has gone down to about 50 because some don't have text. One confirms the existence of buy stations in DMZ too, so I guess that's cool. And then he says, numero uno, and he posts a series of uh, DMZ strings in here. I mean, <laughs> whole bunch of stuff in here. Uh, we got Alcatala Informant, with the Cleaner, World Traveler, Kill and Confirm. Uh, under the influence, that is Extract One Liquor Bottle. <laughs> that is kind of hilarious. As well as he says numero dos, it's a little bit smaller one, but uh, also stuff in here, extract a hailstorm, destroy one vehicle, stuff like that. Kind of cool, you guys can pause and check that out yourselves if you want to. This next thing is actually pretty cool, he uh, says Warzone 2 TAC map. And now the image he shared at this is actual just like, just straight dog water quality bro. Uh, I mean like really, you can't, you can't make out like almost anything of what it actually is or what it looks like, it's just like, what, what? What is that? So we'll talk about that more here in just a second. Next up, he says shock stick. So this is some of the equipment from uh, from Modern Warfare 2. So shock stick, he says it's a shock charge from Black Ops 2, and this is the icon for it. So that's kind of cool. So many comments. My curiosity is how old is this tack map? And he says, as far as I know, been there at least before the release of Warzone Mobile pre-alpha. So that's kind of cool. Next up, he says Battle Rage Field Upgrade? Question mark. It's like a little like looks like a mask or something like that. Ghost Hope comments. Is that what it's called? Probably a substitute for armor or something. He goes, Yeah, I think it's an inhaler that gives you some experimental gas, like that makes you go crazy, like Menendez in Black Ops 2 campaign. Just a theory though. And then he commented, Yeah, I'm gonna assume it's an adrenaline gas or something like that. But then uh, we also have Dead Silence as a uh, an equipment not as a perk though so dead silence is an equipment and then of course we have battle rage is what this one is called inflatable decoy then we have a smoke airdrop that's kind of interesting sonar pulse that's kind of cool as well as uh, next up we got a tactical camera so that's kind of cool just like we had in black ops 1 we have a stim pistol and a sound veil so cool i mean the sound veil actually sounds really sick though that like i mean basically like what like a suppressor but for like a section of the map that would be awesome next up is uh he posts some more images this first one is of iodine pills then we have a bunker buster a night vision goggles and a cell phone so he's like what, what is a cell phone for and then next we have some uh, leaks here coming from ghost of hope he posted an exclusive leak this morning he says exclusive ranked play will be coming to modern warfare 2 shortly after launch with treyarch leading development of the mode so ooh, that's uh that's good and bad i mean good that hey we will be getting some sort of ranked mode within modern warfare 2 but also bad because like dude why why is it so hard to get a ranked mode in at launch like seriously dude i i really don't understand that why in the recent couple years when these games have had three years of development they still somehow cannot manage to put a ranked mode in at launch instead they always have to end up being released like months later so sometime post launch is when the ranked mode actually gets added so i really don't understand that but uh, there was a, a series of tweets and stuff, people going back and forth on uh, on his. So people are basically saying, like, oh, like, this this isn't a leak, like, whatever, da, 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 like, wh why does this matter, you know? And uh, Ghost of Hope says, Infinity Ward has literally never had any ranked play in any of their Call of Duty games. LOL, boohoo, that you got your expectations up for some footage or something. And I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's true, like infinite warfare didn't have one i mean like ghost didn't have one it kind of had like competitive modes but it wasn't like an actual ranked thing you had no actual rankings there like i said infinite warfare didn't have one um, modern warfare remastered didn't have one modern warfare 2019 didn't have one warzone didn't have one and so it's like this is going to be the first one that will have one which is kind of crazy though if you like you think about it though that like no infinity ward game has had a proper ranked like competitive mode that is really interesting but then uh Another leaker, another like guy in the community, Bob Network UK, he goes, I hate trying to scale crap with a passion. And so he tried to scale uh, this map, the, the, the Warzone 2 TAC map, 
to uh, basically that like original Warzone 2 map leak that we got a while ago. And then Ghost to Hope actually comments on here. He goes, it's the whole map in the gray low quality version, LOL. It's just weirdly stretched and not high resolution. And he goes, the gray map literally looks empty compared to the fan created dummy. And he goes, the fan created one is dog crap. LOL, go look at Tom's drawing and you'll see it'll match perfectly. And then Realty commented, yeah, don't bother. So kind of interesting there about the TAC map, though, is that, I mean, it is like our first official look at it, but the, the quality of it is just so low that it's just like, eh, whatever. But let's go back and talk about the ranked play mode here real quick for a second. Uh, Realty UK, he actually responded to uh, Ghost of Hope's tweet here about this, about his exclusive, you know, coverage of this. He goes, this does line up with the Warzone mobile file, so basically confirmed at this point, and he goes, huh? How so? And he goes, there are references to the mode being in IW9. So that's kind of cool. And then uh, Ghost of Hope continues, I don't know for sure, but I think the ranked system Modern Warfare 2 uses will be the same one that Vanguard has. In my opinion, it's a pretty great system for future CODs and can be improved in a few ways, including more rewards and work much better on more stable game build, which results in less bugs, lol. And then uh, there's a follow-up tweet from Realty UK. He goes, for those curious, it looks like Modern Warfare 2's ranked play will work similar or completely identical to how Vanguard's worked. And somebody commented, they said, what about Warzone ranked? Anything on that? And he goes, apart from the fact that it exists, no. So, I mean, that's kind of interesting. I mean, it kind of makes sense, though, that, yeah, yeah, you know, if we are going to be getting some sort of, like, Warzone 2 ranked mode, it also would make sense that we would also get some sort of ranked mode within Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer, which, hey, I think that's great. You know, maybe keep some of the, like, the super sweaties out of just regular pubs, because, I mean, I'm, I guess that's the whole reason we didn't even really need a ranked mode in pubs, is because pubs was so sweaty, it was pretty much like you're playing ranked anyways, but... Yeah, lastly for this video, uh, we have another tweet from Realty UK, another thing he found through the Warzone mobile game files. He goes, again, probably just a placeholder and nothing interesting, but he says, found the Warzone 2 logo. Looks to be a placeholder, but confirms that Warzone will go down in the Roman numeral route for naming WZII. So this is what that looks like. I mean, of course, it's like just a really low quality thing of it. Obviously, this isn't like the full logo, something that they're going to put on like all the promotional stuff, but... I don't know, it is kind of interesting. I was wondering about that last night. I was thinking about that. I was like, how are they going to market and like, what are they going to call Warzone 2? Because so far, you know, they've, they haven't really given it an official name. They haven't said like Warzone 2, you know, and they've been talking about, you know, Modern Warfare 2, the new Warzone, you know, the future of Call of Duty. They're calling it like Call of Duty 2.0 or whatever. But I was like, are they really going to call it Warzone 2? And I was thinking about that because I was like, I mean, what, we, we have games like uh, Fortnite. Fortnite, I mean, technically they, they did change it and they basically made like a Fortnite 2, but it was just Fortnite Chapter 2, and then they went back and, you know, they like restarted all their seasons again. So they had like Fortnite Chapter 2, Season 1, Season 2, you know, so on and so forth. As well as that's pretty much what they've done with Warzone. You know, every year is when, you know, a new game has come out. So first when, like, Cold War came out, they restarted the season. So it was back to Season 1, 2, 3. And then when Vanguard came out, they did the same thing. Boom, restarted them. And so right now, within Warzone, we're on Season 4, even though we're, you know, over two years deep in the game at this point. So, I mean, it makes sense that they're going to call it Warzone 2, but still, I'm just like, Warzone 2, really? Like, I don't know. I, I just... I feel like they could come up with a better name for that or something like that. But at the same time, I feel like they have to include Warzone within the title to capture that mass market, you know, household name, which is Warzone. So I feel like they have to still include that, but also still find a way to differentiate it being, you know, separate than the original Warzone. So I don't know. That's, uh, you know, that's, that's Activision's problem at this point. But... Yeah, just something interesting I was thinking about. So, what do you guys think about all this stuff, all these leaks and stuff? Let me know in the comments down below. A lot of stuff, dude. We got more leaks and stuff. I'll be posting another video tomorrow talking about more leaks. Dude, like, swear, we're going to have leaks coming out probably for at least the next week from all this stuff. And it's just crazy. Like, I think this is probably, like, the single biggest leak we've ever gotten in Call of Duty history is been from Warzone Mobile. It's just been leaking so much stuff out about Warzone 2, about uh, Modern Warfare 2, and about DMZ as well. So freaking really crazy stuff here, guys. But that's going to do it for our video tonight, guys. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you guys are new around here, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and give you a thumbs up if you have enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.